Hello, I'm Rob Hirschfeld, CEO and co-founder of RackN, and this is an Edge Lab tour. We're going to go through a quick setup of Edge Lab and a Kubernetes install and show you the whole process end to end. It only takes a couple minutes, uh, and it's easy to replicate for about $500. This is what uh, my desktop Edge Lab looks like and what I'm going to be running the demos on. And Edge Lab is a completely self-contained on-desk environment. It's really a data center on your desk. Um, it's made from four Raspberry Pis, although you could use any hardware on it because it uses the exact same software that we use in data centers to control multinational banks. When I turn on the nodes, they are going to go through a Pixie boot process and get discovered, and we will register all those machines. When we start the K3S workflow on those machines, it will elect a leader. The leader will win, the other systems will wait, and the leader will begin the process of downloading the binaries that it requires to do the install. It will install them, generate the tokens that it needs for the rest of the cluster to join, and once those clusters are uploaded into Digital Rebar's profile, the other systems are unblocked, they will continue to do their install. We start the whole edgelab.digital journey from the edgelab.digital site, where you'll find bill of materials, instructions, and uh, all everything you need to do to build a cluster that looks like this. This is my edgelab.digital cluster or burned in. There is a start me script that is expected to take the SID of your system and the password. And from there, it's going to attach to your Wi-Fi network and make Pi Zero the gateway for the cluster. Remember, all communications in the cluster occur on the uh, the wired network. So only the first Pi has to be attached to the uh, internet address. And so once it's done that and connected there, it sets it up as a gateway and then it starts downloading digital rebar to do all those installs. So once the bootstrap is completed, all of the setup is done for the system and we're ready to go for the uh, booting of the individual machine. In that, in that while, it's, while we're waiting for that to boot, I'm gonna show you a, a video of what the boot would look like if you had a terminal attached. I can show you the subnet, and this is really critical for uh, DHCP Pixie booting. In the Edge Lab subnet we've set up, we've identified the IP range. Uh, we're sending all the machines into the dot .100 range here, and we've specified specific Raspberry Pi settings that allow you to Pixie boot the Raspberry Pis uh, through the not quite normal Pixie boot processors. Um, and it, you can see I've jumped back. We already have machines booting through the process. And so these are these are the first two machines that I plugged in. I'm gonna run the demo just with the two and that'll be fine. So from here, if I pick K3S install and start it, it's gonna go through the process um, of identifying the machines, electing one of them to be the leader and then uh, setting up that the install process on those systems. So if I click into the profile here, I can see that 102 has become the leader. That looks quite good. So here's 102. Uh, and that means it will, in this install process, if I want to watch the live updates, you can see it's downloading K3S for the correct platform. It's building the services file, and it's going to continue going through the operations. Uh, and I'll keep getting live updates as we go through the system. If I visit this profile, this profile is where we're going to collect the credentials, the tokens, all the other pieces we need to actually run the cluster, which is where we're going to ultimately go. And if I jump over into files and look at K3S, you will see this is where it's stored the um, information about K3S and the ARM and saved me the download on future, future machines in the system. What you'll notice here is that in addition to um, installing K3S, we've already gotten the worker nodes going. We've also installed the dashboard automatically, and that's exactly what I want to demo for you. So here uh, in that profile, we have now collected the additional information about the cluster. I can now do a kube cuddle. I've already set up um, to use kube config in, in this location, so I can kube cuddle uh, and do a get nodes. And here it's going to ask me to log into the Kubernetes dashboard. Excellent. What I need to do is go back. I need to get that dashboard token. It's encrypted. I have to click to decrypt it, paste it over here, and log into. So that is your Raspberry Pi cluster uh, on K3S. 
And start to finish, I can build these clusters in about a minute once I've got the rest of the system set up. Hope this was very helpful. Uh, please check it out at edgelab.digital. Spend 500 bucks and build your own automated K3S studio.